The Harbour Trials of India's first indigenously built aircraft carrier INS Vikrant has now been completed, and officials have said that the basin trials will begin in September this year, in which all the integrated systems on board the carrier will be tested in presence of manufacturers of those integrated systems. The basin trial will be followed by sea trial, and the aircraft carrier is expected to join the Indian Navy by 2023, and will carry 26 fighter jets and 10 helicopters. Boeing has confirmed that it has started to conduct ground-based ski jump tests of its F-A-18 Super Hornet at the Maryland Naval Air Station, which is part of a demonstration effort for the Indian Navy, to show that the aircraft can operate from the two Indian aircraft carriers, and more details will be released upon the conclusion of the test demonstration. The deal for 57 Super Hornet Block 3 with the Indian Navy could further tip the scales toward the F-A-18 in the 114mm RCA fighter jets program, as India could benefit from common logistics infrastructure and supply chain commonality. The first ever Pinaka rockets fully manufactured by the private sector have been successfully tested by the Indian Army, signaling the end of single-source dependency on the Ordnance Factory Board. The DRDO had transferred the technology to the private sector firm, and officials have said that the privately manufactured rockets would cost 30% cheaper than the fixed price of Ordnance Factory Board, and the Indian Army has a large requirement pegged at more than 1,000 units per year. The Deputy Managing Director of Bharat Forge has said, that the 155mm 52 caliber ATAGs howitzer developed by the private sector firm have reached the final stage of testing with the Indian Army, and the company is ready for the sale process to begin. It has already been validated to a range of more than 48 km, and is considered to be one of the most advanced field artillery systems in the world. The Indian Army is looking to procure about 150 ATAGs, and it can be priced up to 15 crore rupees. As part of the $40 million deal to supply four locally built Swati radar systems to Armenia, Bharat Electronics Limited has confirmed that it is preparing to transport the remaining two systems to Armenia. Indian Army was also recently cleared to acquire six more Swati radar systems for a cost of 400 crores, and these will come with a host of upgraded features over its predecessor, which includes lower weight, as well as improved range and tracking capabilities for mountain terrain operations. The National Research Development Corporation and the National Aerospace Laboratories have joined hands to establish an innovation and incubation center with external private funding, that will support and promote startup companies in the emerging area of aerospace technologies, and will also help to create employment opportunities to the youth of our country. The Indian startup company Pixel is getting ready to launch its first Earth imaging satellite aboard a Russian Soyuz rocket, and the goal is to fully deploy a constellation of 30 satellites by 2022. Once all of the small satellites are in orbit, the Pixel network will be able to provide globe-spanning imaging capabilities on a daily basis, at much higher quality when compared to today's existing Earth imaging satellites. Larsen and Tubro has launched a newly built interceptor boat for the Indian Coast Guard, and the 27-meter-long boat has a maximum speed of 83 km per hour, and has excellent sea-keeping maneuverability and endurance range of 926 km.